Another sandbag filling factory has revved up and is in operation. Cass County officials opened the River Wrangler Sandbag Warehouse in West Fargo today. Volunteers will man the county's first sandbag filling spider machines from 8 to 8, Monday through Friday. Meantime, a local police department is looking for a few good volunteers to help out during the flood. The Fargo Police Volunteer Association currently has a 32 members who gave over 4,000 hours last year. The duties range from traffic control to office work. If you're interested in helping out, the organization is hosting an open house Monday from 7.30 to 9 p.m. at the Law Enforcement Training Center. Now another item on the city agenda tonight is a revision to the city's emergency declaration and that was probably smart to do early. That's because we're not the only region that's going to be threatened by some big time flooding this spring. Uh, places like the upper Mississippi River Valley and back down toward the lower Great Lakes and even toward the east parts of the east coast, uh, they're expecting to see some major flooding there as well putting us in direct competition with them for flood fighting supplies and for aid too. Now I'm told by Mayor Wallacher that Fargo is of course ahead of the game and uh, has most of that help already secured. He also mentions that the North Dakota National Guard uh, has the fewest members deployed in several years and so that just leaves that many more hands able to help fight the red this spring. Yep. told a lot of people I you know probably be in the high 30s I'll be shocked personally if it goes over 41. Fargo's mayor makes his flood prediction for 2011. Good evening everyone thanks so much for joining us tonight Robin is off. Dennis Wallacher says the red will crest lower than the record 40.84 feet of 2009. His best guess comes as the city nears its goal for sandbags and as clay dikes are already being built. Even in town, it's very dangerous. We're hearing it's so slick that when you drive even just straight, the wind will actually blow you side to side. And uh, cars are only able to go about 10 miles per hour. Behind me on the interstate, we just saw some big uh, some fire engines going by. Not sure what's going on there, but just a nasty night for anyone out here tonight. And even for my photographer, Norm and I, earlier on in the day, we were out just getting video of the interstate and a car did a 360 almost hit our car guys so absolutely dangerous tonight absolutely Haley come inside it is definitely bad out there thank you a state official says hundreds of motorists are still stranded on I-94 because of this blizzard and it is so bad the National Guard will be sent out once conditions improve the guard will begin sweeping highways from west to east